How are the leaves of higher plants adapted to their functions? It, broad and flattened lamina, to increase surface area, for absorption of light, thin blade, to reduce distance for diffusion of gases and penetration of light waves, transparent epidermis and cuticle, to allow light to penetrate to tissues, cuticle layer absent on stomata, to allow for gaseous exchange, one cell thick epidermal layer, to reduce the distance over which sunlight penetrates, palisade cells have numerous chloroplasts containing chlorophyll. To trap maximum amounts of light energy, have stomata on the epidermis, to allow for gaseous exchange, and control of water loss through transpiration, palisade layer have elongated cells located at right angles to the leaf surface, for maximum absorption of light energy, spongy mesophyll, consists of spherical and loosely packed cells, to create air spaces, which communicate with the atmosphere through stomata. For purposes of gaseous exchange and control of water loss, veins have conducting tissues, xylem. For movement of water and dissolved mineral salts, phloem, for translocation of manufactured food. Thanks for listening this piece from Ticket Audiobooks. Be sure to listen to other audiobooks in the list. Subscribe, push the notification bell and don't forget to share with your friends and family.